And now, I will do the 3D highborn. I will begin my highborn using my Andy's T outliner starting at the temple peak point in a rainbow shape going up and down towards the back of the ear. I use my Andy's T outliner and apply the blade flat against the scalp to create a straight line going up. Using only the corner of my blade, I will begin to scoop up to meet the top of my last part. Again, using only the corner of my blade, I'm gonna slightly swoop up and then swoop back down towards the other side of the head. Using the back of the blade, flipping my trimmer upside down, I will define the part that much more. Using only two teeth on each side of the corners, I will apply my blade to create the small little section on the highborn part. I'm gonna create my line and make it a little bit more bolder in the front, tapering it towards the center, making it from thick to thin. When creating a part or doing any type of design, make sure it flows. You do not wanna have a part that's the same width and the same thickness the whole way through. I will begin to stretch out my line on the opposite side of the head Again, flipping my trimmer upside down so I can truly define my line work. Using only the corner of my blade, I will begin and proceed to add a second line right above my previous step. I will now add a line in the center and separating two fades and giving it a small 4am fade. I will now create the shadow of the backdrop for the 3D part. When doing a 3D part or any type of 3D design, make sure all 3D angles go the same direction. In this case, my 3D and my backdrop makes my shadow go right, so all my 3D parts will be going facing to the right. I will now add a small thin line on top of my highborn part to make the 3D effect pop out. I will continue to work on my 3D effect by using only the corner of my TL liner. I will now use my 5 star senior with the lever open and begin to blend right above the ear. Using my 5 star senior, no guard, lever open, I will begin to blend right above this line here. Fading in small strokes, making sure I don't take out too much hair. Opening and closing my lever, I will continue to blend right above my line. I will use my Andy's T outliner, using only the corner to keep blending. I will use my T outliner in a scraping motion going downwards to get that nice blend. I will now flip my T outliner upside down and define those small little lines. I will now use my Andy's T outliner and begin to scrape out and fade going in an upside down motion. Fading downwards carefully, making sure I do not cut more than I'm supposed to. I will continue to use my T outliner and begin to blend around the 3D part, making it pop out. I will continue using only the corner of my blade to define all my lines. 
I will create two guidelines opposite from each other, making the two fades meet. Opening and closing the lever on my 5 star, I will create the two small blends in between those two lines. I will apply the same steps on this top part as I did on the bottom. I will begin to blend out all this area here with the no guard lever open making it a half. Opening and closing the lever to get my desired length. I will continue to blend using my 5 star senior with no guard. Using my 5 star senior I will close the lever all the way and I will scrape going downwards. I will create a new guideline using my Andy's T outliner. I'll use my 5 star senior with no guard opening and closing the lever to continue to blend in this area here. Using my sterling reflections with the one guard I will open and close and continue to blend. I will now go back with my T outliner and continue to blend around the ear. Still using my T outliner, I will begin to line up my client's lineup. We'll create nice hooks using only the corner of my T outliner. Continue to use my T outliner to line up behind my client's ear and the hairline. I will now do clip over comb to remove any hairs that may stick out. Using no guard with the lever open, I will continue to do my clip over comb. I will now close my guard on my 5 star senior and begin to freehand. I will now grab my Pacino's gold shears and begin to point cut, adding some texture to my client hair. I will now give my client some volume by blow drying his hair. The best way to mold your client's hair is by applying heat and getting it to flow whichever way you want. I will now apply some Pacino's cream on my client's hair spreading it throughout his hair with my fingertips. When the product begins to dry, I will be able to give it a nice, messy, modern texture look. Using my Pacino's Gold Razor, I will begin to shave the lineup and to shave the high one part. When against the grain when you shave will define your line that much more. When shaving, make sure you always stretch out the skin. Now for my final look, the 3D Highborn. 